Hello there, this is Cash Bear Mama, and I'm here, and it's steaming up, but that's okay. These are the tickets that I won so far, um, $100, $500, $1,000, and $100 for this week, and we have to cash stuff that into our lottery envelope, so that's there. And I also wanted to come on here today to talk to you about the student debt repayments that are coming up. I had to do a seminar with some people um, with my program, and they were asking questions, and I told them to submit questions before I did the seminar about student debt forgiveness and what was going on and was it still going to happen. So I decided to come on here and I'm going to look at my PowerPoint here and kind of give you the gist of what's going on because several of you have, you got student loans and some of you are worrying about is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? And uh, part of it, we don't know, but I'll try to answer some of the questions from the PowerPoint. If you got something else, you can email me or type it down at the bottom that I didn't cover or whatever's going to happen. The payments do start up again in October. Interest starts in September the 1st. So if you haven't paid down your loans, which I had told people, a lot of people just start paying on them. Don't leave them hanging over these last two years. You know, some of them could have been paid down and really low and um, gone and they're not. And now we're looking at interest starting up again or you didn't start up on it. I think it's Deborah's journey. I think she did it. She been paying them down. She just got right on it and just started. She's been hitting them and she's got them down pretty low. She's doing great. Um, so if it, some borrowers, so I'm going to read what I had written and what's going on on this PowerPoint. So lawsuits have frozen the up to twenty thousand dollars up to twenty thousand it doesn't go over anymore student debt cancellation plan that Biden had you know, wanted to do. And so the lawsuit started, it's in the court with the Supreme Court. They had heard arguments on February the 28th. So the final decision is expected in the following month. So we don't know what month, what day, could be tomorrow, could be two or three months after this has started, who knows what's going to happen. Um, borrowers were all, some were already approved for the debt forgiveness and they received their emails from the department on November the 19th, 2022, but they were informed that no relief was coming. Other emails were sent out to tell them nothing was coming because the lawsuit started out. And, um, in his debt ceiling plan that he negotiated with McCarthy and mostly the GOP side. They that's, This is why it's starting up again, because the GOP wanted the debts to be paid. They want the money to come in to the government. So it wasn't Biden stopping it. It's that's what they plant. They concessions, things happen. So it's held up in the Supreme Court so you just have to kind of wait and see what's going on with them. And he it's extended right now till September the 1st. The interest is starting. And October, the payments will start back. You make sure that you check with your loan people and make sure you got the right address, right information. One person was paying off somebody else's bill just recently was checking. She hadn't checked. And she found out that her account number that she was giving wasn't the same account number and they were just all mixed up. You're paying the wrong loan. And so you need to check and make sure everything's all right, whether you want to or not, because it's going to come back to bite you in the rear, probably, if you don't fix it now before everything starts going, because they're going to lose their mind. Okay? Okay, so Biden had started... Um, he signed the debt ceiling plan, and so that's where we're at. We're just waiting on the lawsuits. We don't know if they'll succeed or not. It may be likely, may not. It's just a 50-50 chance. You cannot apply for debt cancellation now, okay? They've got applicants. They shut down the site. 
you know, no new applicants because until this lawsuit plays out, because what's the sense in accepting somebody and then it's not going to work. So they said, no, 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 no. Okay. They said 26 million borrowers have applied, but 16 million have already been processed and they're waiting on that plan with the Supreme Court to go through. Um, it informed approved applicants during the email through the, that the relief is on hold. So you should have gotten an email or a letter or something and you need to check and see why you did not if you want to make sure. But most of those 16, they, they, they are approved. We're waiting on the court and the lawsuits being over with. Um, there were some people that were mistakenly um, received that they were approved. The government sent out emails and letters telling them they were not. <laughs> so you should have received that. And they already know that's they're not part of the 16 million. They're not part of that. They're already been pushed out. They were not approved. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm probably stuck in that 16 million, I may still get it. No, you're not approved. They 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 already notified everybody. And make sure you open any government letters and make sure you read it that you didn't get approved. Um, if you cannot afford your payments, you need to reach out to your um, finance people that are doing the um, student loan. That's why I said check for addresses, make sure everything is all right, and start talking now before they start getting overloaded and burdened because people are sitting there waiting on the lawsuit and they're going to wait till the last minute. While they're not as busy, reach out and talk about, is there a way to refinance? Is there a way to, that I can get lower payments Okay, can I get payments based on my um, income coming in, like an income-driven repayment plan that caps your payment at a certain portion of your total income, and it may lower your monthly bills while extending this time? So, so ask. You know, it doesn't hurt to ask. Somebody's going to say yes or no. Okay, that's all they're going to say. So make sure you do that. Like I said, reach out. Don't sit there and wait. If you're defaulted on a loan, kind of you started and you went to whatever, um, see if you can find the fresh start and see if they can restart your loan, okay, in good standing. See if they talk to them and see if they can get it back in good standing without the penalty and the catch-up payments. They're called fresh start. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just talking. Okay. So, but you can follow me if you like to do it. But I'm telling you what I did at my seminar this week. So, anyway, take care. Enjoy yourself. Bye bye.